Ahoy, mateys! This is Salty Sailor here, and uh, this is actually my first commentary that I'm doing for um, you know, this account. I've done like a half of one, believe it or not, on my uh, flop account. By the way, I'm uh, the former flop monster. Um, you know, I stopped playing for about oh maybe a month and a half or so uh, because Black Ops and all the other games were just getting too boring for me and um, the clan just kind of fell apart I mean we're still real good friends um, don't get me wrong you know with our 20 subscribers and everything but um, that's pretty much it oh, uh, basically I wanted to take the time today to uh, talk about the kill streak, the specialist package in uh, Modern Warfare 3 and how I like it a lot um, now, for some reason, I'm running, like, Extreme Conditioning, Overkill, and Stalker, um, with the point streaks. But I'm also running Hardline as my regular, um, second perk. And I got this tip from Joostra, so I want to do a uh, thank Joostra for the tip. Um, and, like, okay, if you, if you get the flag in the beginning in Domination, like you should, like a real teammate, you would get, you know, your first perk already. So you have four perks after just capturing the one flag that you should always capture in Domination. And then all you need is two other kills. Or no, I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. Two other kills to get, you know, overkill, which I have here, or your total fifth perk. Which is actually very, you know, I, I like this idea. Um, Infinity Ward, good job. It keeps the uh, game fast-paced. But... Yeah, um, okay, I'm going to talk a little bit also about how um, I got started into gaming. Okay, so when I was about, oh, a first grader back in the days, um, I started to play like those, you know, those sports games along the lines of Madden, NHL, you know, MVP baseball around the 2004 when that started. Um, and I was good. I was like MLG Pro. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I was actually pretty good though. I'd always beat my cousins. <laughs> it was kind of like a big uh, war in our family. No, I'm kidding. No one in my family plays video games but me. All my cousins that I always smack. But um, I I really enjoyed the sports, but I never really got into the uh, online first-person shooter era until. Um, late Modern Warfare 2, early through Black Ops, and then uh, now Modern Warfare 3. Um, you know, I really enjoy the first-person shooter games, although, you know, maybe my mom doesn't, or my parents, you know, grandparents, whatever. But, um, I really do enjoy this game type. And not only because, you know, you're just annihilating people to their almost certain death, but just because um, it's so fast-paced. And that's how I like my games, you know, fast-paced instead of, you know, maybe football to where it's, you know, you get four downs, four plays, there's 10,000 minutes between each play, you know. Like, shooter games, it's straight up to the point, fast-paced, you know, but yeah. Um, there's always going to be overpowered weapons, such as the ones that I just used, the dual, the dual machine pistols there. That's always going to be overpowered, but, you know, that's how that's how Modern Warfare, you know, Black Ops is. You know, I, I feel like I'm saying that too much. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. They know, they know. Okay, um. But I actually got off to an extremely good start earlier. I had, like, a 16-0, and and I was going for the Moab, but, uh, as you can tell, I did not receive or earn that prestigious honor to annihilate everybody in this particular level slash game. That <laughs> sounded like a nerd, didn't it? No, I'm kidding. Um, I also really like the PP90 M1 suppressed. <laughs> um, I, I, I really like it just because it's very accurate. There's very little recoil. Um, at the time of this game, I was, say, level 42, I believe. Um, yeah. I know, you're a noob! But I did get this game late, because I really just wasn't into video games until, um, this came out. Black Ops was boring me. Modern Warfare 2 was boring me. Modern Warfare, you know, COD, COD 4 was boring me. And, uh, you know, my friends just kind of dissolved, so to speak, uh, from the gaming 
But, you know, uh, I got back into it. This is probably my best game um, on Modern Warfare 3 so far. It's like a 36 and 7. I know it's kind of mediocre. I'm not like the Mark of J or, you know, Man in Black, Fear Crads, Woody's, Gamertag, Joostra, you know, all those great freaking monsters. But I'm just trying to, you know, stay along and just have fun. I really don't care about my KD if it's a, you know, point four, which is not. But, um, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna lie, 36 and 7 is a pretty decent game. That's like a, um, a little bit over 4 KD, this game. Other than that, I normally maintain like a 1.5 or, you know, in that vicinity. Now here, I, uh, I die because I turn my back to the spawn. And that's one tip. Don't ever do what I just did there. Don't ever turn your back to the spawn. That's a horrible decision by me. And resulting in death. But, um... As you see, you know... The, uh, Suppress... This is actually the first game I did the Suppressor on this... On this, um... This gun. And I really like it. Just because it doesn't affect the range... Um, too, too much. And I have Marksman on. So, I, uh, it's pretty easy to, you know, pick out people, and then, you know, maybe go around the flanks and kill them. Now, um, I also want to say something that Fear Kratz also said. He said, um, that if, you know, the flashbangs and the concussion grenades are thrown at the same speed, he said just use the, um, the flashbangs, because they're more effective than the concussions are, because, you know, they ke they flash them, they, they can't see, they could be shooting into the devil or into Jesus, but, um, I really do agree with that tip, just because, you know, they're thrown at the same rate. Um, this gameplay is winding down a little bit, but, uh, I'm not done talking yet. And it says, like, you've been promoted to Staff Sergeant. I know I'm a lot higher than that. I, maybe that's a glitch or something. But, um, as you can see, our team has pretty much been dominating this whole time. I I just ran into a random match. So I have no one in my party. We've pretty much been uh, dominating the C flag this whole time. So, just to be content and spawn trap. You know, that's what I've been pretty much doing the whole game. But, see, there's a difference between domination spawn traps and demolition spawn traps. You know, domination, they can go different places, as they can in demolition. But, you see, domination, it's a lot more fast-paced. And what, like, um, like it could, the, you know, you can get different flags. It's just not consistently one point, one or two points where you're going to be spawning the whole time. Well, um, we're going to end up winning... 200 to 94 with a 36 and 7 gameplay from Salty Sailor 7. And I get the final kill, so uh, that should be submitted to FaZe Clan. Just kidding. But um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Alright, peace out.